So I've been thinking about what's going to happen in the future now that boomers are going from middle-aged to elderly. They're going to start dying off rapidly as the calendars start shifting from old age and stuff like that. What is going to happen to a lot of these platforms in which Jews can influence politics on an ideological level? Because Zionism is very boomer. It is. And, I mean, I just saw that meme a while ago. Boomers only want one thing and it's fucking disgusting. And it's like a whole... It's the whole map of the world, but all the continents have the Star of David on it. And I've been thinking lately how they're going to, if they want to continue with Zionism, not just let it die, like they let communism die out, like they've, as they've let other ideologies die out. And I've thought about it closely, and they're trying to rebrand it. Not just Jews, but boomers themselves. You see this with Milo and how they've sort of replaced a neoconservative standpoint for Zionism with a Kekistan variant that they're sort of marketing to millennials. And they've been trying to groom millennials with this neo neoconservatism and this neo neoconservative outlook on Zionism. But I fear that it's too FBI tier and too obviously planted for it to work out. And I say I fear this, but is this what I'm actually hoping? I fear this isn't the case. Because if you know, 20 years from now when us millennials, we start to become adults rising up in careers, as if, but when we start filling in those vacant spots that will be left behind by boomers, by some Gen Xers, we're going to come to a point where is politics going to have this Zionistic, heavily pro-Israel standpoint, this heavily nationalism for thee but not for me thing? I think if Zionism is going to continue to exist. That's something that we as alt writers are going to have to continue to deal with when it comes to proselytizing people and getting them out of these you know, thinking traps. Is it going to change a little bit? Is it going to be less nationalism for me but not for me and more ethnic nationalism for me? Civic nationalism for the, which is what I'm starting to notice. Like, civic nationalism is getting really popular. Like, I'll be on a Facebook group where people were making fun of alt writers, but it's not actually alt writers or a meme page or things like that. And usually, the people who get annoyed or triggered by posts aren't the TRS, Daily Stormer type of all writers, the poll users, they're the Kekistanis. The ones who really do not know. It's not even like the trad Catholic tier alt writers. They know better. I'm glad they know better. Or neo monarchists and stuff like that. So it's going to be interesting to see. If Zionism truly has an expiration date, or if it will continue to exist, but in a sort of third wave or second wave. So, I'm curious what you guys think. So some of y'all are really educated on this topic, and some of y'all are more adept with understanding the thinking of people of various age groups, especially in countries that... I may not interact with this heavily. So this has been your boy Mr. Wonka7, and suck my dick.